Finance and Property Committee to order at 5.06 p.m. First floor conference City Hall, Monday the 16th of May. Uh, I'm Terry Dolan, Chairperson. We'll go around the room and introduce ourselves. Joseph for District 1. Joe Terry, Public Works Director. Tim DeSorci, Finance Director. Scott Calga, Alder Person. Paul Vollert, Streets Department. Stack, Joe Bachman, Wisconsin Rapid City Tarps. Jim Borski Streets. Jonathan Anderson, Daily Tribune. Tom Rowan, District 4, Alderman. Should mention, Alder Person Hep is excused. Item number two, review and consider approval of proposals to replace the recycling truck with a single stream automated recycling truck as approved by the Public Works Committee and City Council. Included in your packet is a summary of the quotations. <laughs> Staff is recommending purchasing a JX uh, from the JX Truck Center. Uh, Peterbilt 320 with Labrie collection body for $245,000. $573 with a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty and uh, an expected life ex uh, span of between eight and ten years. What's, what's the difference with the truck county? I just noticed that was lower. Yep. Paul, do you want to do an explanation? <coughs> yeah, so the truck country was a conventional cab truck. Um, Versus the Scafit or the Mac and the Peterbilt, our standard cab overs, which would be similar design to what our current refuse trucks are. Um, with this being a new automated system and things like that, we're we're not sure that the conventional cab would work. You know, in a residential area like this, the turning radius and you know the truck is three foot longer. Um, so we want to go with a, a standard cab over design similar to our current refuse trucks and then see you know possibly the trucks in the future could be a conventional cab or something like that um, but just with this being a new process um, we're not sure how it's going to work and things like that we know that the cab over trucks work um, because of the shorter turning radiuses and things like that um, so that's why we chose to stay with that truck design Another consideration was operator safety. Um, the cab over design sits a little closer to the ground versus a conventional cab. So while the operator um, won't be climbing in and out of the truck as frequently because it's an automated system, there's still the opportunity that they're going to have to be getting out uh, for um, different types of collection as well as uh, if we're uh, doing some elderly assist. So um, safety is another consideration there. In talking with the body manufacturer, um, you know, the he does put that Labrie body on freight liners and things like that, but 75% of them are on Peterbilt's, um, and they've had very good luck with them. Um, it's, a diff it's a new truck for us because we've been dealing mostly with Mac because it's a Stevens Point vendor compared to a Wausau vendor or Rothschild, but um, there's been other larger municipalities that have very good success with them. I know you said it or I read it, but how long this goes through? How long does it take to get the truck? Uh, this the truck would be built um, in uh, first part of August, and then it would be delivered to um, Labrie, and they would take thirty to forty-five days to put the body on it. So we're looking at um, receiving the body or receiving the truck um, sometime middle of December, so we'd be able to be operational hopefully by the first of the year. Good time to try it out. Okay. I'm, I'm make the motion then to uh, purchase the cab over recycling truck through JX Truck Center. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? 
Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Item three, review and consider approving the purchase of up to 6,500 recycling carts under the National Intergovernmental Cooperative Purchasing Agreement Program. I'm sure you're going to explain that program, right? Sure. <laughs> so, so what the program is, is it's a, it's a national bidding process. And it, it helps the city and other municipalities avoid the administration involved because it's done as a national co-op between states. Um, we did get some initial quotes for carts and the national bid price is better. I don't really necessarily say substantially better, but it's certainly better than you know some of the quotes that we had received. And um, because the national bid met all of our local specifications that we were looking for, um, I felt that there was a good value to make that the recommendation. And just so we're clear, <clears throat> because I know there's people watching, because I thought they might be here, but right. we're, we're going to go, with, we're looking at two types, right? Right. So what we're proposing, at least initially for the, this purpose of numbers, and we, we wouldn't make the purchase until we knew for sure, but uh, we've got about 6,400 units proposing 6,500 carts to purchase. Uh, the majority of them, and we would recommend people utilize the 95-gallon the carts, um, but have an option if they so chose initially, when before we made our first purchase, to uh, special request a 48 as a substitute. Uh, once the city purchases the carts, any substitution or change thereafter would be at the expense of the property owner. So this proposal is for 6,095 gallon containers and 548 gallon containers. They would include the city's logo. They would include uh, choice. We have not yet uh, finalized the color choices um, and a color choice of lids and a uh, radio frequency ID tag uh, so that we can use, if we choose to use uh, <clears throat> technology that's available, uh, the truck can scan and we can scan the, uh, the carts in addition to the serial numbers. Uh, for identification purposes, if, if there's maintenance ne that needs to be done, we can log it in um, and log it out for inventory management. It, uh, it breaks down to about uh, $45.15 each for a 96-gallon cart and $38.65 each for a 48-gallon cart. The shipping of the carts to the city is about $3.87 per cart. And assembly and delivery services, which we're recommending the city um, utilize that service option, is three dollars and sixty-five cents for each cart to have them assembled and delivered to the resident. The expected lifespan of these carts is fifteen to twenty years. They do have a twelve-year warranty. This particular type of cart, uh, for those that might be watching, that. Uh, demoed the carts. Um, this is the, the type of cart that we, we demoed with a few people uh, with a, a number of different cart options. This is the one that was preferred because it's easiest to, to tip and maneuver. And, uh, and for those that demonstrated, where I demonstrated the sizes after that fact, all saw the same cart. We also have them um, in the lobby here at City Hall if this is approved where the public can come in and, and take a look at them and see what they see what they look like and kind of get a, a personal feeling for their size. And the cart, you'll throw anything and everything that's recyclable. Correct. Paper, tin, plastic. Right. Yep. Right. Okay. Fill it up. Yeah. 
and, and I know we also discussed this, but it's been a while. Who's paying for the carts? The proposal is for the city to pay for the carts on the initial uh, purchase. And then after the initial purchase, it would be the property owner's responsibility. That's what people watch. Yep. <clears throat> um, this 500 number, that could change if you get more requests for the 48, obviously. But it feels like 500 people have called me requesting that. <laughs> Mayor, what's the opt-in period, Joe? Again, for, for folks that who that we have to we have to establish that, that. Proposal, right? Okay. okay, and and no issues picking up either side. I mean, I've seen them in other cities, but Sorry. the other Purchase. question I have is um, yeah. around the purchase of the bins. Yeah. I think it's um, not it common just it's just necessarily for cities to pick up the entire tab of the purchase of the bin. I think it's right. very uncommon. It so is. I think it's important for us maybe to draw that distinction that. Cities that have done this have put that on their tax bill um, yeah, on a per resident basis. So we've been able to, via the replacement account, I believe, um, I'm believing is where we're financing this from. Kind of my point is, mm -hmm. you know, normally these ain't paid for. Right. So right. And, and it's certainly, it's certainly uh, with challenge that we're sure. doing that. I mean, we've, mm -hmm. I have to carefully evaluate our replacement account and budget to recoup the cost of these carts over a period of time or we won't have funds to purchase equipment so we have to be careful how we uh, proceed but so we'll have approximately 100 spares then yes okay. hopefully so an option to get two no <laughs> yes um we're we're considering not so much for recycling i mean if yeah. if that becomes a need we can consider that but um it wouldn't be without cost, mm -hmm. right? You know, not just purchasing the cart. There's obviously time involved in making sure. every stop. But um, if if there was need, certainly we would consider that. No, I for one, we need a truck. Yeah, I know we've talked about this numerous times, but I, I applaud you for the safety aspect of it too. Because as I said, I've seen person individual get out of the truck in the winter, and you know it's amazing you haven't had more injuries to be honest with you. So I applaud the effort. I'm a safety guy at work. I mean that's what I do yeah. all the time. So boss would be proud of you. Yeah. So um, so I guess uh, let's make a motion to discuss we need further. I'll make a motion to consider approving the purchase of up to sixty five hundred recycling carts under the National Intergovernmental Cooperative Purchasing Agreement program. The numbers Joel listed. Um, and uh, we'll look for a second. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Item four, review and consider a resolution amending the 2016 budget wastewater software purchase. Do that. I'll describe that as well. <laughs> The wastewater utility is uh, performs its own asset management and uh, in evaluating the condition of the sanitary sewer mains in the city is a critical part of that. The, uh, the methods and technology have changed over the years and the city has a fairly robust uh, geographical information system, GIS system, that combines data with mapping and uh, and our wastewater utility is a little behind as far as being able to utilize that technology. What, what this software does is allows the, the staff in the field to uh, virtually eliminate the need to prepare paper reports. It computerizes that process and then um, anything from laterals to defects in the pipe, it locates that. Um, and pinpoints it both on the map as well as the video data. And so for, uh, for engineering staff or wastewater staff that's analyzing that at a later date, instead of having to review hours and hours and hours of video of pipes trying to identify problems, it significantly reduces that, that time period. So the, the, so the purchase of the software was already approved by the Wastewater Commission. The trouble was that the, uh, the cost of that software was not immediately available in the wastewater budget. 
However, we do have a uh, wastewater project, our, our sanitary sewer relining project that came in under budget and that money was transferred from the wastewater utility to the public works uh, infrastructure fund. And so what the request is, is to transfer it back um, because it is not needed for that sanitary sewer project and then would be available to utilize for the purchase of that software. If that makes sense. So resolution number seven is included in your packet. I just have a question for the one year of storage, but it says monthly fee, so really that's that'd be six hundred a month. Okay, so one of the things that we are not going to be purchasing at this point are the mobility um, options. So the last two items on there won't be purchased. Okay. And we, we found that we can accomplish that using some of the software that we already have with a little bit of training. So um, also on the first page, the second item from the bottom, ESRI license for use with GIS model, the city already has that license. So that's omitted as well. I would uh, make a motion to amend the 2016 budget resolution number seven for the wastewater software purchase. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? I think it's great that you're doing that because the cost of man hours, yeah, like you were explaining, surely outweighs the cost of purchasing this in the long run. So it, I'm just pleased that you're looking forward and getting more technology involved. Mm -hmm. I also want to mention, I think it's important to note that um, the wastewater staff is also very excited about it um, because it, it, it helps really unite the team. They're, they're doing a lot of work in the field and it's very challenging for the engineering department to, to really use that work and this allows that to happen. It, it, it makes their work uh, that much more substantial in, in, uh, in the field and quicker to evaluate. So I, I think it's a fantastic project. For really very little cost. Really yeah. Really think about it. Here we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Item five, review and consider a resolution amending the 2016 budget 60 payout. Do you want to take this or no? No, no. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here. That's resolution eight, I should say, right? Well, yes. Okay. Yeah, this is just a, a, a resolution amending the budget. Um, if you remember back in 2015, as part of uh, contract negotiations and things like that, uh, the, it was a common council approved uh, the payout of sick leave and a lot of uh, premise behind that, especially with the, the contractual negotiations was is that, you know, the kind of the going from the unlimited sick leave to a sick leave bag, the part of that was to compensate for any unused sick leave. Um, so um, basically what happens is, is any unused sick leave at the end of the year is paid out the following January. So for the 2015 sick leave payout, I put an amount, a statement amount in contingency. Those payments were made in, 2000, in January of 2016. So now that the amount's known, basically this resolution is just taking that money out of contingency and transferring it to the appropriate operating accounts. Just curious, because you know, we do budgets and budgets. What's this compared to other years? 66, is that enough? This is the first year oh, yeah, that right. we've we done it. Do yep. it. Yep. Yep. So okay. it was. So we, don't, we didn't set a precedent yet there. <laughs> this well, is I guess we did. I guess we did. <laughs> we'll see how it goes next see year. See how it goes next year. So. So just part of the bargaining process, this is, yeah. It, it was, yeah, it, it was part of the, um, the, the bargaining process, and then also the non-union employees, it was also approved for. So it's basically yeah. all city it's, employees it's get their union yeah. use of sick leave payout. And I mean, it doesn't seem a lot to me. So mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll make a motion to um, 
for resolution number eight for sick leave payout in the amount of $66,458. You can just say it just approved because the, the actual amount oh, is different. Yeah, um, the amount is uh, 45, 45 plus 224. The, the other the difference into those two amounts is, is that I estimate an amount that I put into our incident labor rate, which is our fringe benefit rate that we use for employees in the cost system. So that's already theoretically built into the operating accounts for those employees. So. Okay. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Further discussion? Just one question. Uh, for Ken again. Yep. Contingency amount that you have to move is that 45, 312? Correct. Yes. And that will augment what you already set aside for this year. I mean, you you anticipate so many dollars for right. this. You put those aside. Mm -hmm. And this is needed to fill that missing. Right, yeah. What we're doing is taking those funds that were put in the contingency for this and transferring yeah. it to the various budgets. So because those payments were then costed against those budgets, so this is making those operating budgets whole. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, any further discussion? Okay, motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item six. Make a motion that we adjourn 527. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So adjourned. 527 p.m.